Hello everyone, it's VC Helper here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix crashing of the game Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. So a lot of users have been reporting to me on how to fix crashing of this game as they have been facing this issue since the release of the game. So I have found 3 to 4 workarounds that's working for most of the users. So I'll be showing you how to do so and I'll be also searching for more solutions so that most of you are able to solve this problem. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll be posting more solutions for this problem and other problems related to this game. So just subscribe to my channel for regular updates. So now let's get started. So the first step is a really important one. In this step you have to clean boot your PC. So once you have installed your game, clean booting is really important. So if you don't know how to clean boot, it's really simple. I have made a 2 minute 45 second separate guide on how to do so. So I won't be showing to you in this video on how to clean boot your PC. So I will provide you the link of this video in the description of this video. So if you know how to clean boot your PC, just do it. Or if you don't know, just watch this video and then clean boot your PC and then try running your game. But if it doesn't work, then try the second workaround. I found the second solution of this problem on the official GT forum of this game. A user here reported that disabling the antivirus is working for him. So he wrote disable the OS. So the name of his antivirus is OS. And many users confirmed that it worked for them and said thanks to him. Another user here can as you can see can confirm antivirus was the issue fixed by adding the exception. So what you can do is you can either disable your antivirus, whichever antivirus you are having, even if you are not having OS, disable the antivirus you are having right now, or you can just add an exception for this game. So I will be showing you how to do for Windows Defender if you are not having any other antivirus, third party antivirus. So you will be having Windows Defender as default. So search for virus and threat protection first of all. And here go to virus and threat protection. And here wait for it to load. It takes few seconds depending on your PC's configuration. And here go to manage settings under virus and threat protection. And here close everything. Just confirm it will need administrator permission. To do so so once you have done so now either you can just turn it off turn the antivirus off or you can just scroll down or add an exception you can just add an exclusion and add the red dead redemption 2 folder the main directory of this game as an exception so first of all i would recommend you to just close the antivirus because it's working for most of the users so just try disabling your antivirus and i hope it works for you otherwise try the third workaround now the third step was also reported by one of the users on the GTA forum. So in this step what he told was just go to the rdr2.exe file, right click on it and go to its properties. And the compatibility tab, select run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 8 and disable display scaling on high DPI settings and run this program as an administrator. So I hope I don't have to demonstrate how to do so. You just have to go to rdr2.exe file, right click on it, go to its properties and under compatibility do the settings as in this image and apply these settings and then try running your game. So this user confirmed that it was working for him but if it doesn't work for you too, another user confirmed that it seems that updating BIOS works only with the version 1.0.0.4. Those who have 1.0.0.3 will not get this work. So for the users who are having this version of the game, you can just update your BIOS. So it's another solution that's working for many users and a user here told how you can see which version of the game you are having you just have to right click on your rdr2.exe file and go to details and here you can see file version and you can just check the file and product version of your game the fourth workaround is a really important one a lot of people ignore it because they don't see it as important but it is really an important one so in this one all you have to do is just make sure that you have the latest nvidia or if you are using amd graphic card latest game ready drivers for this game so as you can see on gta forum on the top we are having these two links which redirect us to nvidia game ready drivers link and amd game ready drivers link so i will provide you both of these links so you can download the latest version of the graphic card that you are having for this game because it provides compatibility for this game so for nvidia users it is of 576 mb so i will provide you this link in the description of this video and also for radon users i will provide this link in the description of this video now this is the last workaround and it's again working for most of the users and it is really an important one. So a lot of users were also facing crashing of the game while playing the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare that was released on the 25th of the last month. And what worked for them was just update to the latest version of Windows. So check for the latest updates on your Windows PC because it really works for most of the users. Just check for the latest updates. As you can see I am having this update 1903. So now a lot of users are also having update 1907 for their Windows 10. So just try updating to it and it's working for many users. So just keep your PC up to date. 
keep your graphic card up to date and if you still have any problem write in the comment section i will surely help you with it so thank you for watching this video that's all what i've got for this solution for this problem so thanks for watching and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day